OTB is back for another series of in-depth chats with some of the biggest names in Premier League and Irish football history. We'll have behind-the-scenes access, talking to some legendary names from the biggest clubs, and we'll meet the crucial people behind the scenes who make a Premier League club what it is. It's all in association with Cadbury FC, official global partner of Arsenal Football Club. Check out cadburyfc.com for updates on promotions and giveaways. Robert Pires is here with us to pick his all-time Arsenal five-a-side dream team. Robert, I've got to say, this team is um, pretty attacking. You've gone for the unusual uh, methodology of not picking a goalkeeper. <laughs> no, because it, um, <laughs> I, I forgot the, the goalkeeper. <laughs> is this revenge on Jens Lehmann? That's what's going on here, isn't it? No, not having this Lehmann. Is re- <laughs> so this is, yeah, exactly, this is my revenge with, uh, with uh, Jens Lehmann. Thank you, Jens. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Okay, well, let's start at the start. Um, yes, your defender. Was there much, much of a decision to be made in your mind? The best defender you played with, who's on your team, is Ashley Cole. Yes, Ashley Cole. Um, you know, so, uh, I don't, I don't know why, it's because it's very difficult to, to say why. But uh, with Ashley Cole on the field, it was very very easy, very simple, uh, and a feeling, I don't know why, a feeling with Ashley on the, on the, on the left flank, it was, I don't want to say perfect, because it's, if I say perfect, it's like a maybe arrogant, don't, I don't want to be say perfect, but it was very good, because I find a great player behind me, and we, we did a very good combination on the left. So that's why I said Ashley Cole. I also get the impression that he did all the defending that you were supposed to do when Patrick Vieira was shouting at you, he would look out for you. So there's, there's like a, you're paying him back now, finally, for that as well. <laughs> yes, of course. So that's why I, I put Patrick Vieira. Because, you know, on the field, we, we need sometimes the, uh, the Warriors. And Patrick is a Warrior. And for the commitment, for the spirit... And we need a great captain. And Patrick is, yeah, he, he have a good profile for this. So, so when, that's why I put Patrick Vieira. When Vieira was fighting with Roy Keane in all those games, when you were fighting with Gary <laughs> Neville, what, what was the Keane Vieira? What was that like to watch? Because you were very close to it. Yeah, yeah, of course I was very, uh, very close. Uh, the fight between uh, Roy Keane. Well, you know Roy Keane, no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know him. In, in, your, in your country, you know him. Huh? You know him very well, yeah. What would you like to play But against? it was... Oh, very, very difficult. Believe me, believe me, believe me, believe me. Yeah. It's, sometimes it was a little bit dangerous. Especially, <laughs> against, it was a, especially against you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. You, you need to ask why against Arsenal. Or maybe just with Patrick Vieira. I because think he, he respected. I yeah. think it's respect. That's what I think it is. Because he, he used to say he would in the week of games against you guys, he'd start feeling his yes. hips. Yes, exactly. I'm a, I'm agree with you. Just because it's he find a good fight fighter. He would he find a good warrior just behind just sorry just in front of him. And the fight in the tunnel, it was very very good. Yeah, all of them they can they can watch now on YouTube. It was very sensational. And just can you imagine just before the game? It was <laughs> because it, the, the title the Highbury was very tight, you know. So we say, wow, what's happened? Uh, who, who's uh, shouting? It was right, the cap, two captains. Can you imagine? It was yeah. fantastic. <laughs> a lot of people don't remember, though, that like in the actual match itself, there is a, there's a picture of Vieira with his hand around Keane's neck. Vieira is not backing down. Vieira's like, yeah, come on, no. come on, I, you know. That's the other side no, of it. Exactly. So, so maybe so that's why I think Roy Keane he loves uh, he loves uh, Patrick Vieira for this. And I remember I think Roy Keane said, "Yeah, I want to see you on the field." And Patrick Vieira said, "Yes, I will. I will there." <laughs> so it was it was fantastic. <laughs> and they actually kicked each other very hard in that oh. game. Believe me, all the game. Ivory, Old Trafford, um, FA Cup, all the game. All the game, it was the fight, fight, fight. But you know what? 
you say, with always with the respect. Did you enjoy those games, watching that? Like, were you going, oh, my God, look at these two again? Or are you like, wow, this is amazing. Look at this, everybody. We have to see this. What was your, what were yes, you guys? Was. Yeah. Yeah, for me, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a fantastic moment. I, I repeat, I was very bad. All, all of my game against Manu, I, I was bad. I don't know why. <laughs> but for this, it was perfect. The fight between, between Roy Keane and Patrick Vieira, I said, wait, come on, guys, fight. <laughs> Like a cheerleader. Okay, so the next one, yes. I think. <laughs> yeah. The next one, I think people are going to be very, very interested in. You put Canu in your team. Why is that? Nyanko Canu. He was very, very good striker. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he, he he had the same dribbling, but always he make a success with the same with the, this dribbling. Yeah, it was very, very good. And, of course, when we talk uh, with Arsenal, we talk about uh, Bergkamp and, uh, and Thierry Henry. It, I think it's normal. But, yeah, Canu, he was a, such a great player, yes. Was he a number nine or a number ten? Or nine and a half? Uh, no, number nine. Right. Okay. So, yeah. proper out now yeah, striker because, and like because you know you know my number ten. <laughs> I do. I do. I know your number ten's coming. Uh, okay. So that's kind of Burkamp. What was it like to play football with Burkamp? Number one, the best, the maestro. I told you, I with him, I I learned a lot about uh, about football, about the simplicity, uh, to play for the team to play simple i learned the the best thing in the football because i received the, this advice from dennis Bergkamp. the most important in football is the first control and dennis it's yeah for me dennis with the ability with the ball is a genius yes and so you would have seen him play football, probably maybe even played against him at international level or some club games. But when you go and you play day on day out in training and you play matches with him, what's surprising? What when you get there and you're like, oh, I didn't actually, didn't think he was that good. Wow, this is amazing. What's the bit that make you go, oof? You know what? The best. It's because he plays simple. And football. When you play, I repeat always. All for the for the young player. When you play simple and when you play for your team, you you can make a, a success. And then and Dennis Bergkamp he was like this, and especially during the training he played very. I repeat, the very very simple. You know, one one touch, two touch maximum, but when he did the the pass for you, it was a great pass. So so for me, you know, when you are young. And when you and you watch this, you say, "Okay, I will do the same." And you learn, you learn, you learn. And after, yeah, you play, you play your, your football. It seems like you were very interested in learning when you got to uh, to Arsenal. That that you had a, an open mindset. Um, when you were learning English, was it easy to communicate with Bergkamp to to learn this, or did you have to actually go on the field? <laughs> <laughs> now, for me, to be honest, at the beginning, it was difficult because my English it was very, very, very bad. So, um, so the communication, it was uh, the translator, it was, it was Patrick Vieira for me. Right. <laughs> when he wasn't shouting Patrick at you, Vieira, he was translating Burkham. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good relationship. Exactly, yeah, good relationship. And, uh, of course, with, uh, with Sierra Henry, because Sierra Henry was, uh, yeah, a good, uh, yeah, good translator as well. Uh, Robert, when you stepped into this team, when you arrived, they, they had already won a league and they, they knew the... Well, they were going up against a United side who were already double champions and the season you arrived become triple champions. It is one of the best English football teams of all time. The Invincibles is a team that goes down in history. Did you know you were playing in a team that was at a stratospheric level, that you were doing things that people hadn't seen before, that... You were exciting the world of football. Were you aware of that? Yes, I think 
I think uh, this is my opinion, but uh, this team of Arsenal, if, I think it was one of the best team in the in the Premier League for for everything. Uh, it's about the the players, the English players, the foreigners players, the, the manager, because he he tried I repeat, but he tried to to build a good team. I think today, if we talk about today, Liverpool they have very similar team, like uh, Arsenal Invincibles. Um, because uh, Jurgen Klopp he, he is a great manager. Uh, when he spends the money, it's for the great players because the, because he think this guy he can help Liverpool to 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 win the, the title and they won the title uh, Liverpool. So uh, I can imagine for the for the manager, it's not uh, yeah, it's not easy to uh, to build or to rebuild the team. No, it's 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 the most difficult thing in sport, isn't it, to yeah. to, to rebuild a team? Yeah. The final player on your team, I don't think anybody will be too surprised to learn, is Thierry Henry, um, one of the greatest strikers the world has ever seen. <laughs> yes. Unlucky, <laughs> unlucky never to have won the the Ballon d'Or as the best player in Europe, and probably should have won it. I think if. If um, history could go back and fix that, they'd make Thierry Henry a, a Ballon d'Or winner because he was the best player in Europe for a couple of seasons at least. Not in Europe, I think in the world. He was, he was fantastic uh, player. He was a fantastic uh, striker. So that's why I don't like the Ballon d'Or. No, it's because some players like uh, Henry or Iniesta or Xavi. They didn't want the, the the trophy because you know what? If we, because we talk about Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or is only for one player. Of course, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, or Figo, or Zidane, they they make a, a difference. But we talk about football. We talk about the team matters. We talk about the team. So that's why I don't like the Ballon d'Or. And we talk about Thierry Henry. Yeah. It, 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 yeah, of course he, he deserves to uh, to win the, this trophy, but unfortunately not. So that's why I don't like it. <laughs> um, the relationship you have with Henri, it, at various yes. stages, it seems like you're on the same wavelength constantly. When did that happen? How quickly, when you arrived, did you go? Okay, I understand what you're trying to do. We can we can talk about it, but actually, on the field of play, we don't need to speak. When? How quickly did that happen? You say sometimes with a player we don't need to uh, to speak because we because we play the the same football, you know what I mean. So just I watch where is Thierry. I put the ball and on the his field on the, his field and it's enough. And it's like um, it's like with uh, Ashley Cole. It's just uh, the question of the of uh, feeling. But you know, believe me, when when you have the striker with, like uh, Henry, and when you play just behind him like me, it's it's easy to to play a great uh, a great football because Thierry Henry was one of the best best player in the Premier League in the world. Of course, Do you know, and like I'm, in the world, yes, of course, of course, yeah. Because I, I, I think that um, there's still this, there's still uh, Alan Shearer was amazing, absolutely in, an incredible striker. Yes. But I still think if you're picking a five-a-side team for your life, you're picking Thierry Henry first because he can do everything anywhere. He, for wherever he picks ah, the ball up, he's a threat. Yes, of course. My first choice is Thierry Henry because he's, he was a. A fantastic player. He have everything: uh, skills, uh, dribbling, uh, speed with the ball. Uh, he scored many, many goals with Arsenal, with the national team. With the national team, is number one. He scored, uh, I don't know, 50, 51 goals with the, with the, with France. So it's it's amazing. And yeah, Thierry is because we talk about you know sometimes with the with the people, I, I, we, I, I spoke with the great uh, uh, striker on, on the past, 
And all of them, they, they talk about Ronaldo, the Brazilian, but it's normal because he was fantastic. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I said, yeah. I said, yeah, okay, Ronaldo. But Thierry Henry, he was, he was fantastic, no? I said, ah, yes, Thierry Henry. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. In, in this team, um, Robert, I suspect Thierry Henry gets to take the penalties. Or uh, are, you, <laughs> are you coming off the bench to pass it to him? Of course, you know. I will, I, if if he want to try again, I will try again. But you know what? Is like, I know. It's I'm a responsible because it's my mistake. It's my fault. So was I it, take it. It's for me. Was it your idea? Whose idea was it? No, it's no, it's not my idea. It's a <laughs> cherry idea. Yeah, of course. Because one day, because his idol it was um, Cruyff. And Cruyff, he did the same, but he scored the goal. Yeah. So we did the same, but I missed the goal. <laughs> <laughs> I presume. But it's my fault. Every I, every time it happens now, you must go. I mean, look, they're still doing it. So Thierry on <laughs> so Thierry on me. Uh, Leo Messi and Suarez did it a couple of years ago. They scored. Exactly. They scored. And um, there's that. There's a great YouTube but, video of the the top ten times yes. it happened. You guys aren't in that video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, you can you can watch on a video. Well, I don't care. Yeah, this is uh, this is football, and you know what? Because one day we we uh, we we talk about this with Ronaldinho, and you know what he said? What he said, Robert? I don't care. I want to watch a fantasy on the on the film. He said fantasy. I said, ah, you miss the goal? Yes. He said, I don't care. Football is fantasy. I say, okay, thank you, Ronaldinho. <laughs> That's the best defense ever. I have one last question on that. Did you practice it beforehand? Had you actually had you done the routine, or did you just say we're going to do this? Uh, had you on the training oh. ground gone? Okay, this is what's going to happen. This is how it's going to work. Was that the first time you'd ever yes. tried it? No, no, no. The day, the day, the day, uh, the day before we 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 practiced this penalty. Okay, but we did we did it. But you know what? <laughs> So that's why I say. <laughs> so that's why I say, training and game is not the same. <laughs> <laughs> that's an excellent. The pressure, the, pr- the pressure is not the same. No, that's an excellent lesson yeah. to, uh, uh, to leave this on. That's not yeah. a bad five-a-side team, Robert. I think they're going to win a lot of games. Oh yes, sure. They might with the, with the free, Yes, of course. With the with the three strikers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very positive. I, and if I need a goalkeeper, I will put uh, I put uh, Ashley Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Vieira is big. He, it'll be small goals. He'll be big. Yeah. Uh, Robert Pires, great five-a-side team. Thanks a million. We are here with thanks to Cadbury FC, official global partner of Arsenal Football Club. You can check out CadburyFC.com for updates on promotions and giveaways.